Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. The sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. How long do we have? Seven days. We're Eternals. We came here 7,000 years ago to protect humans from the Deviants. Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos? Or any war, all the other terrible things throughout history? We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless Deviants are involved. By who? We need to find the others. I haven't seen some of them for centuries. Hi. Hello. This is what the end of the world looks like. At least we have front row seats. You know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. We have loved these people since the day we arrived. When you love something, you protect it. You can't protect. Perfect safe house. Well, what's this even made of? Vibranium. <laughs>
Casey, can it just stay for one night? One night. Really? How big is he gonna get? That depends on how much you love him. How did this happen? Ah! Ooh, that's a big red dog. So cute. Cool, 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 cool. You know I'm a little better. Why don't you take his temperature? Where? In the animal temperature taking place. Has he not popped that yet? <laughs> ah, there we are. It's all over the internet. There's a 10-foot dog in Upper Manhattan. That can't be real. We are offering a $25,000 reward for the capture of the big red dog. People don't like things that are different. There are no other dogs like you. What's he doing? I think he's trying to be small. I'm on foot. What do we do? We have to save him. I'm in. We're in. Really? What if you found someone who is so full of love? Ah, he's slipping! Made you feel like you could do anything. Your dog just saved my life! I'm getting Clifford out of here. You don't want to drive? How hard can it be? I'm grounded for life, aren't I? You and me both. He eats like an animal. He is an animal. I'm talking about him. What? We all have a story to tell, but what makes each one different is not how the story ends, but rather the place where it begins. Can you shoes? Do you think me and that girl have a future? Well, why the heck not? You know she's a Catholic. And you call me her? Yes! You know who you are. Your buddy from Belfast, where everybody knows you. They look so yeah. The whole family looks out for you. Mm -hmm. Be good, son. If you can't be good, be, be careful. careful. And that thought will keep you safe. Looking to cleanse the community. You wouldn't want to be the old man out in this street. You touch my family and I'll kill you. Was that our side that done all that? There is no our side and their side in our street. Well, there didn't used to be anyway. We're living in a civil war. This is the time to make a new start. My ma says if we went across the water, they wouldn't understand the way we talk. Shouldn't be a problem. I've been married to your granny for 50 years. I've never understood a word you said. <laughs> what do you want? I want you and my granny to come too. Bloody religion, that's a problem. Then why are you sending us to church? Because your granny would kill me if I didn't. We're not dead. Back here. <laughs> How could I leave Belfast? Everybody likes them and everybody looks after them. Belfast will still be here when you get back. Will you? I'm going nowhere you won't find me. The Irish were born for leaving. Otherwise, the rest of the world would have no hopes. What do you want? I want my family with me. I want you. You know who you are. And wherever you go, and whatever you become, that'll always be the truth. Be good, son. If you can't be good. And if you can't be good, be careful. <laughs> I'm Julia Child. Today you have rock star chefs. Julia's the first. Mm, I think I love you. Julia had these kind of romantic dreams for what her life might be. She was really pining for adventure. I did want to be a spy, and I thought I'd be a very good one. She never looked back. As soon as I got into France and realized what it was all about, 
one taste of that food and I never got over it. I decided that I would enroll in the Cordon Bleu. Cooking was a world of men. Women were basically part of the window dressing. And you certainly didn't see them teaching. I'm Julia Child. Welcome to the French chef. She changed everything. She really knew what she was doing. Terrific technique. She just seemed so unpretentious. Well, that didn't go very well. She was giving you this opportunity to say, don't be afraid of failure. And here it is. When you cook, you give your love. God knows it's a love affair with Paul. Julia's advice for a good marriage was the three Fs. Feed your man, flatter your man, and you had to f your man. Julia Child presents the Chicken Sisters. They were sort of easing her out. She said, forget it, I'm done, and she quit. Julia was a dynamic force that would not be silenced. Darling, we're gonna have so much fun. Julia was more than a cook. She was a cultural force. She changed America. We need to tell how important this woman is, was, will be. You could say Julia, and everybody knew it was Julia Child. This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. You're a great mom. I don't know. I'm fine with Trevor, but with Phoebe, she really keeps me on the outside. That's normal. She's an awkward, nerdy kid. <laughs> Maybe a new home can be an opportunity to start fresh. I just wish she'd get into some trouble. There's still time. What are you doing here in Somerville, anyway? We're completely broke. And our grandfather left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Your father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly keep the power on. You're saying he left us nothing? Well, I wouldn't say nothing. You went with the station wagon? It's the only one that had an engine. What is happening here? Somehow, a town with no fault lines is shaking on a daily basis. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Egon came out here for a reason. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? Oh my god. You guys hear that? Something's coming. The whole city took like the walking dead. closed. To visit planet Earth, you will have to be born as a human child. Are you a hook? And first you'll have to learn to use your new body. To move your arms and legs, you will learn to walk and run. To use your hands to make sounds and form words. There will be so much for you to learn and so much for you to feel. Sadness, joy, disappointment, and wonder. You will grow up, travel, and work. Over the years, you will try to make sense of that happy, sad, full, always shifting life you're in, 
And when the time comes to return to your star, it may be hard to say goodbye to that strangely beautiful world. Damn this book. You're crying. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're definitely crying. See, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> I got these two great tennis players. All we need is a club. Everything to go from prodigy to pro. Raise your hand, Serena. Venus Williams. What you think? Nobody's taking that bet. Tennis takes expert instruction. It takes families with unlimited financial resources. It's like asking somebody to believe that you got the next two Mozarts in your house. Venus and Serena gonna shake up this world. I got a miles on me. Throw it to the sky. Yeah, that's it. There you go. They not going to Wimbledon like this. Not with you and me on those raggedy courts. We just got to stick to the plan. We got champions in the other room. You taught them all us? Richard, I'm impressed. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh, no, brother man. I got me the next two. Let <laughs> me ask you about something. What do you want out of this? I know what your dad wants, but what about you? Well, I want to win Wimbledon as many times as anyone's ever won it. You think you can do that? Every American player got good following this path. We're going to do this a different way. You pulled him out of juniors. Now you pull him out of practice. You do it constantly. I'm trying to look out for my kids. You're looking out for yourself. This is their life. You gotta let them decide. Venus Williams, what you want? Let's show all of those people that I can handle what's coming. It feels so good to be alive. It feels so, so, so good. You are a champion, and the whole world knows it. She's playing the best player on the planet. She can't beat her. But what if she do? Remember who you are, remember where you came from. I have never been more proud in my whole life. You gonna show them how dangerous you are? Let me see your dangerous face. Yeah. That's your dangerous face? Make some dangerous noises. Yeah. There you go, that's your dangerous face. That's, okay, don't do that for the people. Happy Black Friday, we love toys. We still on for pancakes tonight. Chris, you're on reg for the night. We're short staffed. Wait up! I'm Emmett. You ever worked retail before? No. There's no day more harmful to retail workers than this day. What do we love? Toys! Good job. Places, everyone! Three, two, go, baby! Go Black Friday! Thank you very much. Happy holidays. <gasps> Holy shit! What the f there is something wrong with the shoppers. Oh, we gotta do something. We're one hour into Black Friday, and we're escorting customers away from the store. No, 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 no. Was that the new guy? Our shoppers are going crazy. Whatever you do, don't let them gather. They're building something. At this point, we're just in their way. We're gonna have to fight. I don't think this night can get any worse. <laughs> Does anybody else just think that's funny? Ah! I told you they never die. We have to make a run for it. <laughs> exactly. Black Friday is over! Tucky says we're all going to die. Back up, homie! After the fire, we'll sit and admire the stockings all filled up at last. 
decorations of all the glitter, silver and gold. I love it here. The police are here! My God! It's the time. Got your tour buses right here, motherfucker. Many years ago, this candle blessed our family with a miracle. Our house, our casita, came to life with magic. Hola, casita. Boys! Drawers! Let's go! In time, every member of our family... Cecilia, up top! ...was given their own magical gift. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I understand you. I'm not super strong like Luisa. The donkey's got out again. On it! Or effortlessly perfect like Senorita Perfecta Isabella. But, Mama, why am I the only one that didn't get a gift? You're just as special as anyone else in this family. You just healed my hand with an arepa con queso. Casita? What's going on? The magic is in danger. We gotta get out of here! We must protect our home. We must protect our family. This is my chance. I will save the magic. Wait. How do I save the magic? The fate of the family is going to come down to you. I can't do this. Let me help you. The rats told me everything. Don't eat those. Even in our darkest moments, there's light where you least expect it. But at least I'll have a friend. Nope, you flew away immediately. Quitter! <sighs> Come on. Every story has a beginning. Discover the origin of evil. Why are you back here, Claire? Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids. They're not true now. We need to expose Umbrella. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. You see, Umbrella, they have an incident. I'm talking Chernobyl, if you know what I mean. People are getting sick. Let the world know what's really going on. We have to contain this. Shall we go? doing here this is where they're experimenting on him we should split up <laughs> <laughs> 